of times in my oh. life. And it's always been great. I always feel more confident and more effect effective. I don't lose those skills. I just build on them. My program is not another ESL class. It's not set up for a group of people and you might be working on a skill you already know or you're not interested. This program is individualized for you. We will be working on the skills that you need and addressing the goals that you have for yourself. It's the shortcut to improving your communication and getting to that next level in your career. But you're located in North Carolina in the research triangle, right? Uh, I'm about two hours from the research triangle. I'm in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Let's see, Wake Forest University is located here, as well as a number of other uh, smaller, a number of other universities. Uh, it's, a, it's a great location in the country. Uh, the cost of living is lower. The traffic, you can get wherever you want in 20 minutes. <laughs> We're close to the beach, and close to the mountains. Yes. So, and, and all of the people that you're, you're coaching now are professionals, right? They're executives, they're managers, they're individual contributors, subject matter experts, this kind of person. Right, right. This training would, would also be appropriate for somebody who has a few years into their career. Mm -hmm. You know, those first couple of years in your career, you're just working all the time. So often people don't have time for this. Um, but once you've gotten going in your career, uh, this is a great time. Some, some people early in their career find time for this kind of programming. Uh, as well. But I work with people across the United States and overseas. Most of my clients are in STEM related professionals, but not everyone. I'm working with a, a real estate agent, and I just finished with a minister. So I, it's, it's easy to tailor a program to the individual and well, works out well. I love learning all about what people are interested in and what they're working on. Okay, great. Great, Kathy, do you have any questions? Sorry, I, um, anybody has questions, please type here. So uh, Margaret, I know quite a few students speak very highly of your program. Uh, very, very effective which is wonderful. So for many people, you know, um, they think it's, it's very difficult to reduce the accent. Like I have been to the US forever. I still speak English with a very strong accent, but uh, it is about how to speak effectively, right? Mm -hmm. So if someone say, hey, I have a presentation, I have a speech to give next week. So how quickly could they help them to make the improvement? Okay, we can make some changes that will have a big impact on your presentation. As I said, in the US, we want people to get right to the point. So if you have a presentation next week, some of the things that, that you can make changes are to um, how you're introducing the slide, making sure that you're not covering you're covering enough information, but not too much information. We could polish up a few words as well, uh, but we need more than one week to make uh, a big change. Sounds good. You mentioned, um, you know, over 70% of the students are Chinese origin. Mm -hmm. uh, from your observation, what are the most common um, mistakes we, we usually make? Okay. So, you know, everybody speaks with an accent, right? All of us do. 
And I think it's important to remember if you have uh, accent from a different language than English, that means that you know a lot more than I do. Your worldview is so much bigger and you've had so many more interesting experiences that you can bring to the business. But I can point out some uh, differences for Mandarin speakers. TH is difficult, L can be difficult, M and N are difficult. Uh, some vowel sounds such as the F sound and the A sound. Moving from word to word in a sentence can be challenging. I find that you, you know, that learning English, you've worked really hard to include every sound in a word and every syllable. But as you might know, Americans are lazy and we make some shortcuts. And so actually in some words, we take out a syllable and we actually kind of reduce sounds when we're linking them together in a sentence.